foods are not accessible in your community. A look at so-called food deserts. That's next. <laughs> the effort to get healthy foods into areas where there are no big supermarkets, where there's mostly fast food. Well, COVID-19 restrictions and soaring unemployment are making it even more difficult for people living in food deserts to get a meal, any meal. Well, I opened the door there on a uh, typical Wednesday for a feeding event. You'll have well over a thousand people in need. There are not quite a thousand on this Friday morning in the parking lot at St. Joseph Pro Cathedral on Federal. But the need is crystal clear. I haven't been in a line like this my entire life until this COVID-19 began. I've been employed my entire life until March of 2020. Unfortunately, Dan Brown, who drove in from Sicklerville, has lots of company in long lines forming early. People on foot, people in cars, picking up two cardboard boxes full of fresh produce and dairy products. These are all byproduct of the USDA, and it comes through Phil Abundance to the Touch Organization and then to these places right here in neighborhoods. This is absolutely a blessing. It's a partnership between the nonprofit Touch New Jersey and the freeholders of Camden County. It's a lifesaver for the hundreds of people being served here. The fruits and vegetables are very helpful. And you can think, well, I don't use that for that's what else but serving on average more than 300 families at each location every week before the food runs out and people have to be turned away. It's really disheartening to know that for 15 weeks we've been doing a food distribution once a week and that line has not gone down. It's increased. Camden County Freeholder Jonathan Young says COVID-19 simply pulled the cover off of a huge ongoing hunger crisis throughout our region, a problem many people have ignored, but they can't anymore. It, it is times in, in pandemics and times like this here where we get exposed, um, and, and that exposure is deadly. Now, how you act on that? is the difference. And here's how. Extending programs already in place to reach more people in need. Like the health department's Meals on Wheels program for seniors. Cell phone video showing us preparers before 7 a.m. getting meals together to go. And we ended up enrolling 3,200 extra seniors who needed to be fed. Seniors who normally would not be eligible but are now COVID-19 vulnerable. Jamie DeFrancesco making the rounds. Pre-COVID-19 seniors are getting their normal daily delivery, while new COVID area clients are getting a stack of meals to last a week. We're going to come on a, on a Monday, boom, see you next Monday, and that's your that's your meal pack for the week. It's more, mostly uh, frozen food for them. So we're in a food desert, and what, to get any food is a big deal. To get quality food is even a bigger deal. Especially now that officials say plans have fallen apart to bring a major supermarket chain into the city of Camden. That's right. A longtime food desert where healthier, affordable meal selections for most are out of reach. We have to go about 30 minutes to go to a shopping, you know, like a Walmart or short ride. It is a temporary issue fixed for now to, to get them through. So what happens afterwards? <laughs> They're expanding facilities at the sustainable complex in Lakeland to include a farmer's market of low-cost fresh foods. And for those who can't get here, the freeholders hope to send out old-school produce trucks into underserved neighborhoods. Something affordable, Zachary. Right? We're not, you know, our idea here is not to make a profit. Um, our idea here is to make sure that we, we teach people how to grow food, grow healthy food, eat healthy food. Pressure sales spin.